In this box are over a thousand ants, and in this video, we're going to not only make them a new nest, but this nest will also have an ant elevator. They will also be put to the test to take on live boss fights to secure their new home, and we'll get to watch how over a thousand ants take down prey. Like genuinely, I've never felt so stressed in my life. I got Ants HQ to send me over everything I could possibly need to take care of a thousand ants. They sent me out some dubia roaches and some red runner bugs, and yes, these bugs will be the ants challenge later in the video. There's also loads of different parts to build their nest and outworld and we also of course got the ant elevator too which is insanely cool. And last but not least the vials of thousands of ants waiting to get in out into their new home. Not only that but there's loads of tiny little ant eggs waiting and will be hatching soon. There's also different types of ants as well within this colony which is super cool like these soldier ants. They will carry much bigger items and prey to help out the smaller workers. Workers. They're also known to have a pretty nasty bite with those massive mandibles. Let's make the ants a new outworld. First, I need to look up how to build it with these instructions. And if you know how any man works, we don't need them. Also, enjoy this satisfying clip. I skipped the building process as I didn't want to bore you, but we finally have a new outworld. This is where the ants will have their battles later on in the video and collect food and water. Now to decorate it, I just filled it with some sand, but not too much as I didn't want them to think this is their nest and start digging. I then added some rocks to create enrichment and I also added this wood to complete the look. And with that, the outworld was pretty much complete. But I forgot to do one crucial thing before moving on to adding the ants. You'll see later when I add them, but let's just say we had a few ants having a brave heart moment and I felt a few bites. I then add the main nest to the outworld. This is where the queen will live alongside the workers and soldiers. Now remember, we will be adding another nest on top of this nest with an elevator. After that, it was time for the final sauce. It was time to inject the secret serum into the ant queen. I'm kidding, it's literally just water that I'll use on the sponge inside the nest to create more humidity. But there are some crazy ants out there that I can buy, so if you want to see some alien ants, give this video a like so it'll let me know. And well, here goes nothing. It was time to add the ants into their new nest. Look how many ants there are crawling around waiting to get out. I opened up each container one by one and they all started to flood out like tiny little zombies. This was crazy to see. You can also see the soldier ants starting to explore the new place too. These ants are crazy big compared to the workers. And as the others were exploring, one small worker checked out the nest to make sure it was safe and reported back his findings to the colony. But this is where the mistake I was talking about earlier on was about to happen. Yeah, you see that? That's loads of ants on the outside of the outworld. Now see, I have a pretty big problem. I completely forgot that I had to use this, which if we zoom in on it, it basically is escape prevention solution. So you know how all those ants escaped? And if we look around here, I forgot to put the solution on top before putting the lid on. Yeah. What do I do? Now I did it off camera because it was actually stressing me out. Like genuinely, I've never felt so stressed in my life. I'm an idiot. I, I completely forgot to do that, so it's my own fault. But you can see I've got um, a layer of it now around the top. So now I can just take the lid off like so, and uh, we can look in. And uh, yeah, they can't really climb. They can sort of climb at certain parts, like over there. Um, but you know, if one or two get out, it's not a huge deal. Um, it's just that, you know, this now I can actually feed them and record them properly. I mean, just look at the size of that ant right there. It's crazy. It looks so cool. So with me finally getting everything sorted, I gave the ants the rest of the night to fully chill before I give them their first challenge in the morning. And on the next day, the ants were still out and about gathering supplies, but hadn't moved into their new nest yet. So I thought it would be a good time to give them the first of many challenges. Their first challenge will be these flightless fruit flies. These are small, but very fast and will be a good starter challenge for the ants. After dropping a few flies into the tank, the workers instantly started to attack the flies. Every single ant was on high alert trying to figure out what was going on. And one by one, the ants started to swarm them and slowly take pieces out of the flies. Some of the soldier ants even got involved and when these ants get into the action, you know it's over for the flies due to the size of the mandibles on these ants. Then, once the flies have been defeated, they then carry them away to be stored as fuel for the colony. This was an easy challenge for the ants, but trust me, 
the next two challenges they have are a lot more difficult. Now, after feeding the ants, I noticed something crazy. I, for some reason at the time, thought that this was the queen, but I was wrong. And here's why. The queen somehow got to the nest without me seeing, and look at the size of her. I think the reason why I couldn't see her before is because if you see now, she's completely covered by ants. So it just looked like a pile of ants, but under them is a giant queen, and she was escaping into the nest for safety from the attack that just happened. You can see as she moves further into the nest to explore it, all the ants cover her to protect her from any threats that might be in a nest. They basically make a shield. I then come back the next day to check up on the nest, and the ants were still covering the queen, keeping her safe. They even started to move the eggs into the nest too. And after a few more days of the ants settling into their home, I decided to move the ant tubes out of the tank to give them more space for the next challenge. This challenge was a lot bigger, a lot faster, and honestly, I'm not even sure if they can take them down. I'm gonna give them a red runner, which is basically a small cockroach. After placing it into the tank, it started to run around like crazy and figure out its situation it was in. Now if the ants wanted to take this bug down, they'd have to do it together, as these ants are extremely small compared to the roach. After a while of running around, and the ants not really knowing what to do, the roach made a massive mistake. You can see he started to look around this hole. Unknown to the roach, this hole leads directly to the ant nest. Before I could even set up my phone to record, the roach launched an attack straight into the nest and instantly he was thrown onto his back and swarmed in seconds. It was insane to see how quickly the ants responded to an attack on their nest and how quickly they flooded the roach. And it wasn't just the workers and soldiers that wanted to take a shot at the intruder. The queen also came over to inspect what was going on and actually started to attack it as well. And then, after about 5 minutes, the swarm was complete and the roach was pretty much dead. Outside in the outworld, things were pretty much dead too. All of the action was all over the roach, and there was hardly any ants out exploring, so I thought this would be a good time to give them the ant elevator. Now this was a lot easier said than done, as to connect the elevator, that means I had to disconnect the nest. And in this nest, there's thousands of ants that will storm out once I disconnect it. But I had a plan, and the plan was to stuff the end of connectors with tissue paper as quickly as I could. And, as you can see, I had a few ants escape. Now, with all the ants secure in the nest, I then had to connect the towers that will hold the second nest up in the air. When screwing the towers into place, I had to be careful not to knock the tissue paper out or bang the nest and annoy them more than I already am. I then connected the second nest to all the pillars, and we finally had it set up. But, we were missing a crucial part, the elevator to get them from the first nest to the second nest. And, after connecting it off camera, I finally had it complete. But I wasn't going to let them get this second nest easy. Guarding this nest will be an armored bug, an isopod. These bugs are pretty difficult to take down, and honestly, they might not even be able to do it. But if they want that second nest, they're going to have to. After placing the isopod in, he instantly stood at the stairs like a bodyguard. And then, as per usual with my videos, just before I could record it, the isopod went flying down the elevator and straight into the outside of the nest. We know what happens if these bugs go into an ant nest. It's pretty much an instant death penalty waiting to happen. He ran back up the elevator, and while in the elevator, you can see some ants were starting to climb all over the bug. Then, out of nowhere, the isopod escaped out of the nest into the open world, with ants literally riding on his back trying to take it down. This was like something out of a movie, it was insane to see. After about 5 minutes of the ants struggling to take down the isopod, one of the soldiers came out to see what was going on. And out of nowhere, the soldier ant also got on top of the bug and tried his best to get through the thick armour of the isopod, which even a soldier ant was struggling to do. About 10 minutes later, the isopod went into the connector between the ant nest. I couldn't see it, and I couldn't get a shot of it, but as you can see, all of the ants from the nest went onto red alert and started to rush over to the connector to help out. And the next day, I seen what was left of the isopod, just its shell of an armour and nothing else. The ants somehow managed to defeat it. And with that, we had now given the ants all their challenges and a brand new home. Should I continue updating you guys with future videos on how this colony is doing? Let me know, and if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.